Have you ever wondered what's the big deal about Israel? What's the big deal about Israel? What's the big deal about Israel? Why is this tiny country always in the news? And why do other countries want to wipe it off the map? Or maybe you've asked, why have the Jews been so mistreated throughout history? Even today, why is anti-Semitism growing around the world? Or how about this? Why, why should, should we, we care? care? To answer those questions, let's go back to the beginning. God's entire plan of redemption began with the covenant. A promise to one man, Abraham, through his son, Isaac, and his son, Jacob, a.k.a. Israel. The promise included a specific piece of land, and the promise is everlasting. God always keeps his promises. Over 400 years later, God made another covenant, this time with Moses. If Israel followed God's law, they could take possession of and permanently occupy the promised land. Even in our day, we've seen something no one thought was possible. In 1948, the Jewish people reestablished the nation of Israel. God always keeps his promises. And he made another one, a third covenant, with King David. God said that David's kingdom would be established forever through the coming Messiah. We know that future king to be Jesus. That's why Matthew called him son of David. There's coming a day when his promises to Abraham and David will be fulfilled together. This is made possible because of the new covenant. This new promise was sealed with the blood of Christ Jesus. One day, Jesus will reign from Jerusalem. Isaiah said this new kingdom would be the center of global rule. And Paul said when Jesus returns, all Israel will be saved. God always keeps his promises. So, if you want to know the answers to those questions, God made a promise, and the enemy has done and will do everything in his power to destroy Israel and her people. That's why, as Christians, we need to stand in solidarity with Israel. We, we need, need to love the Jewish people, and we need to pray for, for the, the peace of, of Jerusalem. Jerusalem.